Hey guys, we're gonna be telling you the details of the gore things that the gore things, the gore of things that happened at Rocky Horror that you guys still don't know about, and you guys probably shouldn't know about. But we're gonna tell you anyway. So basically the day started when Liz picked me up from my house and I was super tired and super sick and super grouchy but uh, we drove um, hours away early in the morning with Max and I was literally about to kill Max. Me too. I just couldn't tell All it. three of us were going to kill each other. And we were playing Halsey loud and I was trying to get over the fact that I had a pounding headache. Yes. I but it was okay. I remember this. And I apparently won the family over with my dolphin noise. And if you haven't heard my dolphin noise, I will tell you in three, two. <laughs> that is my dolphin noise. Yes, she made it in the whole house just. <gasps> we went to Walmart and we got Subway and pretzels and there was an attractive man working at Subway. And when we were walking around Walmart, I thought somebody recognized us because they were like, damn it. And we were like, huh? damn it. No, they were just actually was upset. It? And then Grandpa was all like, we can double dip our pretzels and the cheese, we're, we're family. family. <laughs> yeah, and then I got back to the hotel and Grandpa was talking about equality and how men are allowed to go around shirtless and it's okay, but women can't go around shirtless because it's too sexy and all this stuff. And he's like, and he's just, he was, he was shirtless and he's like, if you want me to put it back on, I totally understand and I will, but it just, it's very comfortable. And then we suddenly heard this cult chanting outside of our bedroom, our... <laughs> Like room and it through was the glass door. It was so they loud. In the pool. They were just like I don't even know. It's like most of the time it wasn't even English. I swear. Uh -uh, but we went out there swimming with our noodles, and there were like a bunch of girls under the age of fourteen, more likely, because they were super small. Yeah. They were all darker skinned girls, um, but they <laughs> were chanting yes. and uh, like screaming and twerking and yelling and dancing, and I was like. No, one and all over the pool and in yes. the um, hot tub and stuff. And, yeah. They were everywhere. I guess it was some little girl's birthday party. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Grandpa eventually joined in the girls and chanting and I was like, oh God. And then the little girl came out to me. She was so cute. She was running around in her um, like pool. And um, what is that? Yeah. Tubey thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then she was like floating. Can I please have that noodle? And I was like. Oh, yeah. Here, have my noodle. And then we got to Rocky and we found parking out by the dollar store across the street. And we decided that we were going to waste time because we had like an hour or two left and it was raining. And we were like, we don't want to stand outside. So we decided we were going to go into the dollar store. And we walk up there and the store was literally closed in like 10 or 5 minutes. Grandma was carrying around Ranger. Yes. Which is her Ranger. walker. Yeah. But then when we got there to Rocky, we... Uh, Saw three people yeah. in the line. There was this a very attractive man very. dressed in the Rocky floor show outfit, leaning against the wall, looking super hot with his cigarette. But yeah, it was raining. We kept up making jokes about how oh, Jenna needs a newspaper. We were walking around the corner to go see because there's some other event going on, like some haunted building something. We walk around the corner, and this guy walks past us. He's like, Brad, Janet. We're like, oh my gosh, what? I thought they So we were standing outside waiting, and I hear, is she naked? And I turn around, and I look at Serena, and she and my grandma are looking through the window of the door, the glass door, and I see this short girl, and she had white hair You could only down. see her back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She, all, she looked naked, okay? She looked like she wasn't wearing any shirt or bra or anything, okay? She had pants. And then when she turned around, you could see that she had, like, white hair, like, a wig coming down over uh -huh. her boobs. And she just... 
adult <laughs> she was wearing from us to see we that. We were very misplaced. She had X's of tape on her boobs, so it was okay. Yeah. She was the one who came out later and asked us if we were over 18 or not. Virgins. And I said yes, because one was. But Alec was not yet, so he's like, no. I'm so I got, I got a V plus, which meant I was 18. And Alec just got a V on his cheek, and I got one on my chest. Yeah. And then we convinced another girl to mark you with a plus. And she's like, oh, it doesn't mean anything, really. It's no different. Yeah. Yes. She treats us. Beetlejuice walked out, so I had a V plus. It was a man dressed like Beetlejuice. He walked out, and he looked at me. He's like, ooh, over 18, huh? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you're going to get to know Beetlejuice real well tonight. And he just <gasps> walked away like his creepy yeah, self. His he had he this like creepy, like, stalking. Yeah, like, so creepy. Oh, like a freaking it was terrifying. Up. And they finally let us into, like, the first room that we were allowed to go in. It was, like, really tiny. And there was, like, 40 people in there. No and we joke. Were, and we all just squished in there. They gave us this red balloon and started passing it around people. Entertain us. They said, people were like, pop the cherry. Don't pop the cherry. Who's going to pop the cherry tonight? At one point, the balloon bounced off of my face, and everybody started laughing. And I'm just like... Okay, heck right. They kept announcing if oh, people yeah. were virgins, and Grandpa's like, oh no. He's like, we're definitely not virgins. And him and Grandpa are laughing. I'm like, you know, virgins, they mean like virgins to the show, right? And he's like, oh. Oh, okay. well, in that case, well, yes. yeah, we're virgins. But he never got Mars because he, was, him and Grandma were like, oh, we're, we're not, not virgins. virgins. Oh, thank you. When we went inside, we got the. What did they call them? Something baggies? Like goodie baggies yeah. or something like that? Um, yeah. Add toast in it, rice, newspaper, newspaper. noise maker. Stuff to go along with the movie. Uh, lap dances started. Grandpa was the first oh. one to volunteer himself. You touched your nose. You ruined it. You ruined it. How could you? Yeah. Continue on with anyway, your <laughs> Anyways, Grandpa was the first one to volunteer himself, and he instantly ripped his pants off. And he ran up there and sat on the chair and let the man grind on him. <laughs> he was like, I'm comfortable with my sexuality. I ain't got okay. it. <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa God. then asked the guy if he'd give me a lap dance. And the guy's like, okay, yeah. And he, I thought he forgot about me. And then I went up there to try to dance with some strangers. And the guy grabbed me. And was like, you're a teen, right? I'm like, yes. It says V plus on my boobs. And so then he sat me on the chair, and he was grinding on me. He's like, touch anywhere but the penis. Oh and I'm like, eh. And he put my hands on his butt and made me slap his butt. And, and I was so embarrassed. If you embarrassed. guys have seen Grandma got a lap dance. Yes. And the guy hugged her. And that's, yeah. oh, so cute. 